Hi everyone, welcome back to another Rise of Flight series. Yes, we're going to start another Rise of Flight series, and by popular demand, we are going to be on the Axis side. Uh, we've done a lot on the Allied side recently. So, I've decided to join Yasta 4. Yasta 4, we will be flying... Wait for it. Wait for it. The Haberstadt D2. Yes, that's what we'll be flying. Um, which will be quite exciting. Never flown this before. Uh, we are here in 1916, September 1916 to be more precise. And we've got a mission straight off the bat. So let's head over to the missions and find out where we're going today. Okay, mission briefing. Here we are. A line patrol. Um, date September the 2nd, 1916. Squadron Yasta 4. Weather report. Light breeze with high level cirrus. Good visibility. Wind at ground level south 1 meters per second. Designated pilots, Martin Mai is flight lead, wingman 1 is David Schneider, wingman 2 is Peter Kong, wingman 3, Hermann Friedrich, that's us, named after my tortoise, my tortoise isn't called Hermann Friedrich, it's just called Hermann, uh, and wingman 4 is Otto Klein. Primary objective, follow your assigned route to the patrol, uh, the area, follow your assigned route and patrol the area over the front line positions, take off 708, let's go, right. Let's take off. Let's have a look at the quick hangar. Let's have a look. Here's our baby, then the Haberstadt D2 in this kind of um, clay or ter terracotta ready brown and green. Um, not too bad. Armament seems to be just the one machine gun on the side there. Um, you can change. Oh, sky blue. I quite like that. Yes to five. Okay, any yes to fours? No. They got some nice. Oh, they're all, all much the muchness, aren't they? Well, we'll stick with the um, the default one for the moment, as we are a rookie pilot going up to learn how this aircraft flies. So we've got the um, the oldest refractor type Collimator sight trophy from a British fighter. Okay, we'll stick that on. Why not? Um, we've got a speedometer, we've got a thermometer, and we've got a cockpit light, which we don't necessarily, oh, I suppose we could have that on thermometer, I don't think we necessarily need it, um, September it should be quite warm, we've got the green scarf, nice, and we haven't got the green screen streamer because we're not the lead, weapon of choice, we will take the Luger, I think, no we won't, we'll take the Mauser, yeah, and um, and there's this bit of invasion. Lovely, right? We are all set. Fuel is almost full. Convergence is set to 139 meters. Okay, let's head to the aircraft. Okay, here we are. Just crack it. Oh, look at we're cracking the um. Look at that. Right, engine is warmed up. Well, engine's on. Oh, look, we got a split in the top wing. Look at that. We can see the wing spar, which is interesting. Right. Last aircraft we flew was the D. The, the um. Whoa, the Eindecker. E3. So, ooh. Let's see how this goes. Uh, it's nice to have a throttle again. Oh. Very easily into the sky. Very easily into the sky. Okay. A little bit of low speed manoeuvring just to see how she is. Yeah. Not too bad at all. There's our gun sight. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's pretty cool. We've got to lean up to the gun sight, though. Right. It's a beautiful, hazy morning here. Look at that. The mist coming through the valleys and the trees. Uh, we're going to form up and start heading out on our line patrol. Hi everyone, after a successful familiarisation flight, we are now back to base uh, with a very un uneventful flight, but um, very nice one not, nonetheless, it was uh, quite a pleasant little thing. Let's just take this aircraft for a few manoeuvres, down low. She 
um... Ah, she certainly performs reasonably well. She's so stable. Well, he says that at the moment. Feels stable, anyway. Now let's try the next most tricky thing with this aircraft, and that's um, with any aircraft. And that's landing. Right. Okay, the windsock is... Not really registering a wind, but um, the flare will help us. Okay, so we'll land towards those hangars. So we'll, we'll go over here. We'll go over the trees and make our way in. Okay, here we are, the next day, September the 3rd, 1916. Weather report, light breeze with high level Sirius, good visibility, wind at ground level, southeast zero meters, south southeast zero meters per second. Fritz Hahn is going to be leading the flight, ourselves, Herman, is going to be the flight wingman number one, Martin Mayer, wingman two. Otto, wingman three, and Peter is going to be wingman four. Primary objective, follow your assigned route and patrol the area over our front line positions. Take off 1017. Good hunting. Let's head to the aircraft. Let's hope for a little bit of action this time. Right, let's crank this engine. Green flare. I'm taking it. Lead flight's over there, is he? No, we've, we've ran two, aren't we? Sorry. That's lead flight. Yeah, there he goes. Crank the throttle. A bit of forward pressure to get the tail off. Zoom out so we get a bit of visibility. And already the stick has gone light. We are in the air. That is such a... This aircraft produces such a lot of lift. That is quite impressive. Short takeoff performance. Right, another beautiful day, obviously a little bit later than we flew yesterday, so the, uh, the mist is cleared, and you can see it's clear for miles, very good visibility. We're going to form up and start making our way to our patrol sector. Fingers crossed we get a little bit of action and we can try this baby out in combat manoeuvres. Stay on the flight lead. Hi everyone, here we are coming over the front lines now. There is our trench system heading off into the yonder. You've got the front lines, you've got the auxiliary lines, the secondary lines, then you've got the, uh, the back. There you've got six layers of trenches there. Incredible, isn't it? And then uh, over there, just beyond the river, you can see the, uh, the Allied system. Yeah, in the haze. A little bit of ACAC coming up now, they know we're here. But all's well and good. No sign of any trouble. So it's a nice and casual formation flight at the moment. Saw some other aircraft over there, but they were just friendlies returning home from obviously a bombing raid. Uh, so, so far, so good. Those, yeah, a little bit of ACAC down there. Oh, we're turning. It always turns when I'm searching the landscape. Let me just come back to full throttle. Yeah, those uh, bombers may have just alerted the uh, the fighters of the enemy to uh, come up and uh, patrol the area, which would be give us some action for sure. There's a lot of ACAC down there. 
we're close to, we're flying over our front line, so hopefully that's well either side's gun can reach this this part of the um, airspace so it could be either friendly or foe ack ack that one. Uh, but we're doing well. We're gonna now we've done our turn, form up close again and uh, continue our patrol up the line to see if we find any uh, any nasties. I'll uh, bring you straight back if we do. Right, we've finished our patrol. We're now heading back. Just um, off the throttle as we're, we're diving here, trying to stay in formation. We've got aircraft. Aircraft behind, guys. I see two. Right, go on. Is my wig man with me? No. Let's go and check these out. rather be on the attack. Two against one, okay, but I'd rather be on the attack than uh, let them jump the the, uh, the flight. And they went into that cloud, which is going to make a bit of a challenge to pick them up now. Let's get some altitude anyway. Got some ground fire going up. Where are they? Are they going after our balloon? See the Akak, where are they? Damaged bridges down there. I see them. There's actually a flight of three. Right, there's the front one coming in to attack the balloon. Let's try and jump them. There's number two. Where's number three? Let's, let's turn in on number two. In light, this might actually be number three. Do I not overspeed? One, two, three. Yeah, that was number three. So let's. Uh, we won't go on that one. Uh, they've seen us. There we go. Here you come zooming in. Alright, here we go. How does the very stable aircraft in normal flight? How does she compare in a dogfight with Newports, it would seem? Oh, okay, hell. Mustn't bleed the speed off. Akak's close. This is why I get shot down by friendly Akak. Happened before. Pop the gun just to make sure. We're on his tail. Oh, this big old wing is difficult. Not being able to have full visibility of what we're following at close range. So you can't hit. His movements are hidden because of the um, the huge wing. Where's he gone? There you go. Where did he go? One on our tail. See, it lost him in under. Oh, there goes the balloon. Oh, that was that Akak was so close to him. He must have taken some damage from that. Let's see if we can get in there and finish him off. Okay, those Newports seem to be able to turn. 
bit. Whoa, I wonder if this is a bit. I don't know. I haven't. I should look at the characteristics of this aircraft because it may be a boom and zoom aircraft rather than a um, a turn fighter. firing at me which is fine oh it's close I don't like this gun sight actually it doesn't help um, close quarters fighting He's trying to straighten us up for the one behind him. Gun jammed. He's smoking. Yeah, he's put his hand up. He's given up. Another one over there. There's number two over there. Oh, this one's going to get interested quickly. There you go. Oh, they both are. Oh, and he's turned beautifully for us to get on his tail. Happy days. Did that other one go in? Or is he going, going back to the base? Getting a bit low to the ground now, and the speeds are getting a little bit stally. So, this is not the one I was originally chasing. He turned tighter. There's two of them. Look, we'll go for the easier target then. Yeah, <laughs> they're running interference for each other. So good. I think he put his hand up as well. I'm not sure. We're going to be a rotter though, and continue to fire that one. Yeah, his wing's damaged. Okay, I think he's realised he's going to have to engage. What's he just... Oh, he's... Whoa, okay, hang on. Climbing too steeply. Stalling out. Right, he's heading across the front line. Sit, we'll chase him for a little bit, see if we can uh, catch him. We seem to be holding station, not really gaining on him. Of course, he's got a lot more altitude on us as well, so... Yeah, I think he's getting away from us. All right, we'll break off. We'll let him go. Actually, no, he's going friendly territory. We want to get let. Him go. Oh, yes, he is. No, he's going. Okay, we'll let him go. 
he can go back to the squadron and uh, tell him about the new Scourge of the Skies. That's right, they call me Herman. <laughs> the Akak might finish him off anyway. So, Anyway, we're going to head back to base with hopefully two kills to our name. And the first one definitely put his hands up to uh, give up, but I don't know if we get credited with that. It would be interesting to see back at, back at base. Uh, so we're going to make our way there now. I'll see you in a few. Home base is over the top. I'm not so sure about this um, telescopic sight. I may, I may um, remove that for the next flight and try out with just the iron sights and see how we get on with that. Right here we go. Always a nervous time coming into land, especially over buildings. Get in. There, not too bad at all. Bit of a taxi back to um, the hangars, but um, I'll spin around and taxi back now. Right, successfully down. I'll go over to the side here because I can see two aircraft are making their um, approach. So I don't want them to come into. They seem to be aiming for me. Maybe it's just my paranoia. That's um. That's very close, boys. Wave off. Wave off. I hope they're going to be okay. Please don't crash. And there we go. Mission complete. A victory. V for victory. Primary objective completed after 56 minutes and 39 seconds in the air. Hermann Friedrich scored two kills. Nice. We got awarded that second kill even though he gave up. He may have gone in. Obviously the re replays may show that. Um, but at this stage, I don't know. Franz Hahn and Martin Mayer, they are the two that landed and came together. Slight slight bit of bumping, but they'll, you know, they'll be able to patch those up no problem at all. Bit of an experience there. And Otto and Peter were still flying. Wonderful. So a successful first combat sortie with two air victories. Let's go and see what that does for the squadron. First of all, we have received an award. You have been awarded the Iron Cross Second Class. Nice. Very nice indeed. Um, for our heroics, we shot down Christian Dubril and Marcel, Marcel Morel in their Newport 17 C1s. Nice. They're from Escadrille number three. Okay. Looking in the squadron, let's check out the rest of the... Oh, it's a very new, inexperienced... Um, squadron. There we are. Top of the pots with two aircraft kills. The only aircraft kills for the squadron. Wow. We are going to be bought drinks and ask how we do it for um, a few weeks for sure. Uh, yeah, there's been no other victories. There's just been missions and uh, and wow. I'm quite impressed with that. Straight away we are top of the um, achievements in our brand new squadron it would seem. We're 1241st in the all-time players listing as well. Um, we've got eight fully functional Haberstadt D2s. We've got um, a Haberstadt that needs four days repair, one that needs one day repair, and one that needs two days repair. Okay, in our personal bio, here we go, there's our bio there. Um, our two victories, our ranking, and our medals. Look at that, nice, nice. We're going to leave it there. 
Herman has done a cracking job. Familiarization flight, check. First kills, check. First completed successful combat patrol, check. Good start to our career of Herman Friedrich. So we'll continue this next time. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, hit that thumbs up and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe so you don't miss the next video releases. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.